Um, we've got one final session, three more speakers, uh, and hopefully you'll, in, you'll uh, join in as well with some of the queries. So our next speaker is Gary Kerr, who's from Environment and Life Sciences. Would you give him a very good round of applause? You're at a festival. You've come away for the weekend. You're on a road trip with your friends. It's a weekend of freedom. It's a weekend that's different. It's different from the hustle and bustle of the working week and the humdrum of your usual weekends. There's loads of cool performances, great music, amazing art installations, and there's some really inspiring performances and conversations. You're energetic, you're enthusiastic, your mind is engaged in a way that it just hasn't been before. But you're not at any festival, you're at a science festival. Science festivals have been a crucial feature of science communication activities for over 25 years now. But actually, it's not very clear whether or not they advance the public's understanding of science. And if they do, it's not clear how they achieve this. So my PhD sets out to understand the role of science festivals in society and also the cultural and political dimensions surrounding science festivals. As part of my research, I'll be looking at different models of audience interactions, from public lectures, conversations, to art installations and digital performances. Methodologies for this are based firmly within established social science analytical tools and this will include a series of interviews with science festival directors, curators, performers, artists, audience and speakers. My research will draw on evaluation data and also data from content uh, from online interaction, social media data and content analysis. But my research is broader than simply looking at science festivals because surely the term is more expansive than it suggests. For example, there are lots of festivals that don't self-identify as science festivals, Burning Man being one, of, being, being one of them, where the focus is on inhabiting the festival and around creative and emerging technologies. Alternatively, there's about 75 science festivals here in the UK. The main three are the Edinburgh International Science Festival, the Times Cheltenham Science Festival and Manchester Science Festival, organisations that I'm already working very closely with in doing ethnographic research. So next time you're looking for something different to do with your friends at the weekend, why don't you think outside the box and create new memories and some new experiences and suggest going to a science festival? Because I think that science really is at the heart of our culture. Thank you. <laughs>